So think of a gatekeeper. Actually, I'll step back a bit because it, it comes back another different level to understand um, subconscious and behavior and actions. So let's walk through it. Our conscious mind allows us to think. So I can sit there and think the sky is blue or the sky is pink. Well, what do you think I'm telling myself? Ellen, you're an idiot, it's not pink. So that conscious is what we're letting into the subconscious. So it's the thinking mind, the subconscious cannot accept or reject. It takes what you tell it to be true. So it doesn't know if it's real or imagined. And this is where it can walk into, you know, when people talk about affirmations and thinking things and about basketball players, you know, shooting hoops in their mind and shooting the basketball and golf and all of that. It's the same premise is that we just have to figure out how do we get past your gatekeeper, which is what you're thinking, into the subconscious over and over and over again because it's through repetition. There's a, well, I'll step back. There's actually two ways to change your subconscious. Set an emotional impact like 9-11. I don't think any of us want to go through that again or through repetition. It's the only way to change it. I like to tell people I assault you from all different angles because really that's <laughs> When you think about it, it's like you, you've got a gatekeeper and we're trying to get that picture into your subconscious. It is reading, it is writing, it is thinking, it is listening to another podcast, watching a video, watching an audio. And sometimes somebody might think that's a lot. Well, you have layers that I've got to get through into your subconscious through that repetition in multiple modes. And so it's just, um, it just helps us all understand there's not one right way, but it's just being exposed to it over and over again. So look at what you're doing. I mean, one of the best ways to assess, look at your current results. The only time we ever talk about, it's like school, that report card only told myself and my parents how good I was four weeks ago when I took that test. Yet we let it keep us stuck in that. So if I'm looking at current results, and you know, I came from sales, so it's why I can talk about this so easily, people look at sales reports. And you're, you're looking at it going, well, I'm only as good as these numbers are. That's not true. It's I'm as good as those numbers were four weeks ago. Yet that's the one that's controlling me right now for where I think I can go. And the work is to not focus on your current results. It's a challenge for most of us to do. Pick up your head and look forward. That's why somebody told me, I'm, he said, you're a business coach, but you're not like any other business coach because you don't care about the current results. I'm like, no, I care because it's the postcard of where you were. I care more, do you have an idea where you're going? Because lift up your head and go look forward and I can help you get there. Stop looking at where you are. You're shooting yourself in the foot.